Shaquille. You got lucky at the last POW show, Victor. And I hate to say it, but maybe I underestimated you. Maybe I got a little full of myself, and maybe I should have taken you as a little bit more of a credible threat than I did. That was a mistake on my part. A mistake, I can assure you, I will not make a second time. Because the thing about the sex pistol is that I never travel alone. The thing about the sex pistol is that I am as strong as the company that I keep. And these wings on my back stand for something a little bit more than your little aesthetic. See, where I come from in Sin City, there is one unit that is stronger than any other on the planet. And that unit is coming to Pride of Wrestling because I am bringing my little brother, my tag team partner, Azrael Rowe. Together, we make the sexy angels. So Victor, I'm going to give you a little challenge. I want you to look in whatever trailer park you have to. I want you to go to whatever slums you need to. I want you to find the baddest tag team partner that you can. Because when the sexy angels come to your town, there are only three things that are certain. Gender is a social construct. Disrespect your surroundings. And always fear the reaper. Last moment of I'm from POW, I had to deal with Noah, and I had to, he's currently he's still having shaken up with the last cut you are here. But now he had to bring his little pot posse as a roll, just to cause more havoc with me. And that's why I need you, Jack. Because you and I are not like a famous basketball players, like Kobe and Shaq, or MJ and Sky Pippins, or LeBron and Steve Curry. Woo, Dr. J, baby. All I'm saying is that we need to teach sexy angels some respect. I got love for you. I know you got love for me. But they don't have no love for anybody, especially for the POW. So let's co-op and give them the remix beat that they deserve. Especially with this high score I'm getting right now. Oh! Damn! All right, you got first play. I tell you, that's why I need you as a tag team, man. <laughs> that was the ball right there! So. February 26th, Sammy C, DHS versus Sexy Singles. I mean Sexy Angels. Hey, no love for you. What do you say? Homies for life. Boom! <laughs> I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome. So hold this hat for you. Any glasses there? See you in the next episode. Booyah! <laughs> Why are you running? On February 26th, in a VIP match, I will be facing former POW Women's Champion, La Brava. Now, La Brava had a very impressive and dominant reign as their Women's Champion. I mean, 700 plus days, I gotta give credit where credit is due. But the thing about that is, is it's in the past. And we're looking at the present, and we're looking at the future. Present is Devlin McCarbrey as Florida's up and coming stars. And the future, I said, I'm gonna beat you. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Who are you? Why should I be worried? Oh, and this is gonna be a cakewalk for me. Yeah, I get it. Whatever, that's okay. Because you know what? While you're thinking that and you're taking me lightly and you're probably asking where the competition is, I've been training. I've been getting stronger and better every single day and I've been taking myself seriously and I've been researching you. And you know what? I mean this in the most respectful way. I'm not threatened. I'm not threatened at all. This isn't gonna be a cakewalk for me and La Brava, 
you are probably going to be one of my toughest competitors. But you know what? I have confidence that I'm going to prevail. I believe in myself and that's all that matters. So you know what? On February 26th, I am confidently going to say this. I'm going to beat you. I'll see you there. Devlin. This isn't gonna work out. Hey, camera guy. What are you doing? Get over here. I'm gonna do this like an actual professional. Devlin, you seemed very unsure of yourself when you were doing that promo. Were you trying to convince everyone else? Or were you trying to convince yourself? Because to me, I know what you were trying to get across. I know the point that you were trying to make. You're not the only one that's been training. So have I. I train religiously all the time. I put so much time and effort into this business. And there's a reason why I was women's champion of Pride of Wrestling for 770 days. That's because I welcomed the competition. I know that every person that stepped in the foot with me inside that ring was a challenge. I didn't take anybody lightly. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna start taking people lightly like yourself. I know what you've done. You don't think I've done my homework on you either? I know what I'm going up against this Saturday, February 26th. And trust me, I'm gonna be welcoming you with open arms into my house. And as for you, Natalia Markova, Pride of Wrestling Women's Champion, the biggest pretender of them all, I have a lot to say to you this Saturday. So please come prepared, come ready, and come face to face with me in that ring. Because if you really are the woman that you say that you are, if you really say that you're the Russian crush, you will listen to everything that I have to say inside that ring. And I dare you to grab a mic and respond to everything that I've got to say to you. Because I'm not holding back. And you both can deal with that. making my arrival very, very soon. My opponent for that evening, Nick Swift. Now, Mr. Swift, you and me are not strangers, no. No. And I know that you have this whole situation between Noble Alliance and First Class. I completely, completely understand that. But you see, the one thing that I feel that are not understanding, that I need you to understand, is that it's because of you, it's because of your failure that she's an opportunity in your book. So now, you feel like you have some truth, and you want to get in the ring with me, and try to ruin my arrival at Tide of Wrestling. I won't allow it. So we are going to get in the ring. And we are going to wrestle. But at the end of the night, it'll be my hand raising victory. When that happens, you're going to walk back to Nova and you're going to admit your failure again. Because that's what a man does. That is you are a real man. You see, 
during every athlete's career, they're going to be greeted by two sides of a spectrum. They're going to bask in the highest of highs, and they're going to sorrow in the lowest of lows. Now, what truly makes an athlete elite status is when they can take that margin and make it the thinnest of gaps. Now, last month, truly one of my lowest lows, an absolute embarrassment to the Alliance. But they always say that the comeback is greater than the setback, and I always come back. And that's why this month, February the 26th at Pride of Wrestling, when I come back against Jace Maxor, a newcomer, I plan on making his debut, well, let's say an exclusive appearance. I plan to make an absolute example out of this kid. And I'm going to show everyone in attendance why the Nova Lions is just too swift. This match is just becoming, just coming repetitive, tale as old as time. Us and the Gifted, Red Sox and the Yankees, Bears and the Packers. It's going to be talked about forever, man. I'm just getting tired of it, but we have to do what we have to do. You guys are coming into POW acting like you're a big deal when you wouldn't be anything in POW without Aaron Nova. We didn't need anyone to get booked here. Two years ago, pre-COVID, we were here handling business against the likes of Controversial Inc., but you know what? It's fine. Things have changed. I've changed. The team has changed. So it's all right. We're going to be okay. It's the gifted. We're going to put hands on you. We're going to hurt you. And we're going to beat you. Because February 26th. You may be bringing the Nova Lions. But I'm bringing hell with me. We are the gifted. You see where we just were? Some of the two of you haven't been in months. God knows that the most interesting thing that Daniel Starling has done this year is go missing. And Ron Bass Jr., the only thing he's working out are his neck muscles when he's scarfing down Pringles. The two of you want to act like you're coming to POW to take our spot? You want to act like the Nova Lions isn't relevant? The two of you are only here. The only reason you are on the marquee is because you are facing us. You want to act like this is the same old song and dance? You two are in the same place you've been for three years. But we, with the captain by our side for the Nova Lions, have gone straight to the top. At February 26th, this night and this rook, we look to take out those two pawns known as first class. Later on that night, our captain, the leader of the Nova Lions, Aaron Nova, he's going to retain the POW champion with the gifted by his side, and the Nova Lions will reign supreme. February 26th, I'm making my POW debut. Some of y'all might know me. To those that don't know, I'm trained in five disciplines. I've mastered two. I won four international karate tournaments. I've beaten three men in one night. I am the baddest man alive. You're looking. And you will know my name. Leroy Shogun. 
February 26th at Seminole Recreational. Me and the Supernatural Athlete will collide. Wow, Damon, you seriously made this for us? Oh my gosh. Just trying to show my appreciation for you, that's all. Oh my god, don't even mention it. I'm sure you would also, you know, strangle somebody or just dump him into the river. They called me crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever, it's whatever. Hey. Anything for you, babe. Oh, babe. Dude. I'm sorry, um, do I cut you off when you're talking? Uh, yeah. All the time. And you completely disregard anything that I even say. But that's besides the point. I need you to understand that February 26th is not a freaking date. This is Pride of Wrestling presents No Love For You. And you and I were going to be in the ring with Leroy freaking Shogun. Of course. Of course I know that fool. Come on now, what do you think I am? Yes, I really need you to stay focused for this, all right? Shogun is not somebody to be taken lightly. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But... But I'm not somebody to be taken lightly either. And for that matter, neither are you. I'm not scared of him, Damon. And you know you're not either. You think Shogun's gonna actually gonna wanna fight us if we were scared of him? Shogun does not fight pussies, Damon. Shogun fights men. So I'm gonna need you to get your stuff together, give your balls a tug, because together, we're gonna take him out. Together, you and me, Damon. We're gonna make Shogun succumb to his fears. We're gonna make him drown in his fears. And we will pull him under. Yeah, you know what? You got a point, S. Thank you so much, man. I am so glad I have you. You're really the best thing that's ever happened to me. Dude, who the f is this?